All right. Tori Plunk here with the abs of steel routine that we do here at Fairbanks Fit Body Bootcamp. We do a lot of ab training, or core training, I should say, within our workout. It's programmed in, it's part of the exercises. However, people do like to know that they're just training their abs. So we will have that specifically training our abs, uh, abs of steel routine that we do once a week. And this is it. So uh, first off, there's five movements that we do on the front. Then we go to our side and do four movements on that side, flip over four on that side, and finish on the front for a final, final movement. Starting on the floor, feet flat, hands flat. This is just reaching for your heels and holding a, a, a crunch. I'm gonna go up and squeeze it. Down, up and squeeze it. Down, just like that. Okay, you're reaching as hard as you can, crunching tight. Low back stays on the floor. Then we put our feet in the air, put our hands behind our head. Don't pull on your head, just open up your elbows like this and crunch. It makes it harder uh, with your elbows out wide too. So you're just gonna crunch here, just pulling with your abs here, up and down, regular pace, okay? Boom, that's your crunches, regular crunches. Then it's the leg lift crunch. So you tuck your thumbs around the base of your butt, legs are straight. Keep your low back on the floor here, lower your legs, and then it's just lowering your shoulders and raising your shoulders. Expanding your ribcage and contracting it. Here, crunch it, here, okay? Then it's kick out, so you sit up, hands behind you, you're gonna lean back as you kick out. Here, nice and straight, legs, then bring your knees to your chest as you push up off your elbows. That's your kick outs. Now your abs are screaming already, they're tired. So let's lay all the way flat, reach up overhead and kind of Expand the ribcage, stretch out those abs a little bit. Because our last movement on the front is a single leg raise with a sit up and clap behind the leg. So I'm gonna reach overhead, I'm gonna go up and touch. Reach all the way overhead, up and touch on the leg. 10 on each side. Now we go to our side. Hips and knees at 90, bottom arm out straight, top hand back of the head. I'm gonna crunch hard and hold it. And then on the way down, I'm opening up my chest toward the ceiling. So I'm crunching from here now, up, squeeze. See, I also lift my legs here a little bit, a little tweak here, you can, uh, I like that too. And on the way down, I just let them relax, open up, and then crunch, okay? Followed by reaching fast ones. I just go here, reach, reach, reach. The second movement on the, on the side. Then, the, the side pike ups, legs straight, reach up overhead, I'm gonna push off the ground with this foot, or this hand, come up, touch my feet, all the way down, lay flat, up, Reach overhead, each time, reaching overhead. <clears throat> okay, that's your pike ups on the side. Then it's kick outs, so you're up on your elbow. This hand is behind you, legs out straight. Bring my knees to my chest as I push up, lean back to the kick out. That's it for that side, four movements. Now I roll over. It's the same thing on that side. The crunch and hold, reaching, pike ups, and kick outs. Then you finish on the back, on your back for the final movement, which is the frog crunch. You put the soles of your feet together, relax those hip flexors. This, by the way, was not part of Abs of Steel, the original program. I added this one in. This came from Vince Gerondo. Anyway, he, he taught, he had his bodybuilders use this. He didn't like regular ab training. He would kick people out of his gym for training their abs, but he would let them do this one movement. Okay, so any, anyway, you put your feet together, hand, relax your hip flexors, let your legs hang loose, hands across your chest like this. I'm gonna crunch up really hard, and I'm gonna hold it, and then I'm gonna just go down, and up, and squeeze it, and go down, and up, and squeeze it, okay? As hard as you can. And by then, your abs are tired, they don't feel like they're doing very much work, you might not feel like you're getting a good range of motion, but you just have to squeeze it as hard as you can, uh, and hold it for a half a second, second, each rep. In a, in a rep range, you can start out doing like eight or 10 of each exercise and work your way up. At Fit Body Bootcamp, we just do 20 to, to 10 counts because there's no, we have people at advanced level and beginning level, and so you just come in and do your best you can. You know, and you might not get as many reps, you might not get through the whole thing, but eventually you will and you'll be like, yeah, but you'll always think abs is still, it's pretty tough, even after doing it for years, it gets me, if I take a week off or don't do them, then uh, I'll feel it the next day. Anyway, that is your Abs of Steel, brought to you by Fairbanks Fit Body Bootcamp.